it's not a big deal this one okay so let's go check this file cat environment okay let's go ahead and look at it what is it okay it's gonna go document setting um it's gonna be all users um uh, all users application data by the way if you don't see application data or or this kind of um, some if you are missing some folders go to folders option and make sure you do you have show hidden files folder all right so now go to see, see document setting all users application data go to uh, dazzle system um cat environment cat i n e n v double click now don't worry about this i have more than one all right so for you maybe it's gonna be you may have only one so double click on that okay i'm just gonna open up the cat environment okay now here this is the cat environment it has all this information oh don't worry about this stuff okay all right so now uh, all right so you have a cat sitting okay uh, this is one uh, don't worry about this we are only this is the one this variable that we are uh, concern of this variable this is the cat setting all right this is where it's located basically it's, uh, I will show you where if you have already when you were installing you followed all the way that defaults all the defaults if you did that then everything is gonna be located in here so if you don't know anything in here don't worry about it we might talk about in different videos some why I'm showing you this just make sure you know uh, just make sure you know that the cat environment is located in this place all right so now let's say for example you have some problems where let's say your cnex is not showing up or is your cat is not starting up okay go to this location and check do you have this file in there if you have it in there that's fine that's good if you don't have it in there there is a problem you should have a file like this okay that's one tip there okay something problem happened all right so that's that right now let's go find um, the cat sitting all right the cat sitting so i already told you about cat sitting is going to be under your user name okay you go to application uh, dazzle system all right those well you may have only again one cat sitting okay i have more than one all right so now double click on your cat sitting now this is Setting, uh, you're under your uh, local user application data dazzle system then it's gonna be named like cat sitting like it's gonna be like that okay you go inside that cat sitting each one of this what is it are okay what are this what are this is basically katia whatever you do inside katia okay well let me just go ahead and show you okay now let's see let me start by yeah, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna try and try and show you what what the cat setting do. Okay, cat setting what it does is basically it memorizes whatever you do in your interface in here. It memorizes it. It saves it in that folder. For example, if I move this toolbar, whatever, put it in there, and I close my Katia. Next time when I open up my Katia, it will remember it. It says oh, it was here. All right, something like that. For example. I have added some workbenches in there, you know. We will talk about that all later. So next time, I'm just trying to show you what it does. So let's say, for example, I I move this one, I put it in here. It will remember that, okay? So there is some certain setting. If you change around here, it will save it in that cat setting that I just talked about. It saves it in here, you know. So if you have one of the tip here, right here, okay? If you have any weird acting is acting up weird something is not showing you know as you're supposed to be you know like uh, 
right? Sometimes you may have 